Yes, I'm Mr. Brundage. I represent Armour Thurn. And we're here tonight to do a test. We're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to dispel a myth of, of the, the heat coefficient uh, for two products here. Uh, we have two products here on a 6x6 six six, uh, piece of, of, of paper and a 6x6 six six piece of plywood. This is plywood on the back with two coats of acrylic latex paint from a company that we're, that we're uh, uh, doing a paint test for. And this is uh, two coats on the back of a paper that we made. So this paper is high heat. This is a very high heat test. What we're going to do is we're going to try to make this test conform to the ASTM 285 uh, high heat test for open flame torch. And instead of using 8 inches, we're going to concentrate on a 4 inch distance from the flame, but we're not going to use uh, propane and we're not going to use map gas. We decided to use oxyacetylene because it seems there's questions that have arisen about whether or not our tests are high enough. So we just decided to go to the highest heat range we could possibly go to. So we're going to, we're going to turn our oxygen on here and first we're going to cut a, 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 a bolt to show that this is actually oxyacetylene to, to uh, uh, show the heat of, the, of the, uh, the, the torch. So we're going to turn our gauges on here. Okay, we're ready. We have fire. melted the bolt. Okay, we're going to relight now. I'm having a little trouble with my, my oxygen here, but that's right. Okay, we're going to All right, we're ready now. Three. Hold on. We're starting with the wooden sample. This is the wooden sample. What we're looking for is the paint to boil. Three, two, perhaps combust. One, now. As you can see, the tip is four inches away from the plank. It's extremely high temperature. Now, 20 seconds. On the back side, we're getting a reading of 101 degrees. You see smoke, but no flame. We're out. Okay, next sample. Are we through the surface? Negative. I'm going to put these glasses on because I can't to see. Okay, that's good. Paper sample. This is my paper sample. This is the paper sample. Let me just check out. I don't want to catch my fire. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Now. That's it. Out. No flame, that no combustion mean. on the paper. Hot. <laughs> okay, we got to turn this this gas off. Get a reading on that temperature. It's very difficult to, to perform this kind of test because of the amount of heat that's 178 involved. degrees backside. All right. Very dangerous. What we're trying to do is do a test that should be in a more controlled uh, uh, setting, but 
at this point we're just trying to get past the test to, to see what happens now. Um, our first sample, we can show what happened with it. it is, it's handleable. The temperature is warm, but it's not hot. We got a, a minimal amount of, of bubbling on the, on the surface. Can you see that? Can you zoom in on it? Yeah. But we didn't go through the paint. We blackened it because it's, it's, uh, it's uh, oxycetylene. But our paint didn't burn through. If, we, if you'd like to scrape that, and then you could show the camera. That's our wood sample. And this is our paper sample. It's warm. I would say this is probably 150 degrees. Yeah, show the back we side. melted the bolt. I would have liked to have cut through it. melted I, bolt. We you didn't quite have our torch set exactly right, but I set it up. Now, we didn't go through the surface of this, this at all, and this is paper. So, as you can see, that's paper. You got a little bit of underspray underneath that, but nothing wrong with that. Now, Go ahead and show the wood sample after we've scraped away the uh, surface that's been charred. Scrape, scrape the wood. Let me see, let me see this. <coughs> Hold it still. We didn't burn through it, so we still have paint on our surface. 